So today we're going to be looking into the world of the most accident prone actors. It's inevitable that actors are going to get hurt on set from time to time, but that doesn't mean that injuries are always come about in a manner that you would expect. I found some of the most coincidental and strange on set stories that I hope you'll find entertaining. Anyway, with that being said, let's get started. So first up is Brad Pitt and Troy, where Brad plays the role of Achilles. Greek mythology tells the tale of Achilles being invulnerable in all of his body except for his heel. In a cruel twist of fate while filming a battle scene with Eric Banner, whilst performing a jump strike maneuver, Brad landed awkwardly and tore his left Achilles tendon. Now if that's not a coincidence, I don't know what is. You sack of wine! As a result, the remaining scenes of the film were put on hold for several months until Brad's heel recovered. Brad also had an accident in the movie Seven. There is a scene where his character chases the movie's antagonist, John Doe in the rain. While running, Brad fell and his arm went straight through a car windscreen, which required surgery. Oh, come on. This accident was written into the script to explain why he had a cast over his arm. Coincidentally, the original script did call for Pitt's character to be injured during the sequence, but just not to his hand. Next up is Sylvester Stallone in Rocky IV. Demanding a sense of realism in the boxing match between Rocky Balboa and Ivan Drago, Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren agreed to legitimately spar each other. I must break you. Oh really? Whoa! After Lundgren delivered a hard set of punches to his fellow actor's chest, Stallone was airlifted from Canada to a hospital in California and placed on intensive care for several days. Lundgren's punch caused Stallone's heart to swell up, which led to his blood pressure to exceed 200. Channing Tatum in The Eagle While filming in a freezing river, the actors had to have a mixture of boiling hot water and river water poured down the suits to stay warm. A crew member forgot to mix the hot water with the river water during filming. As a result, Channing was scalded with boiling water that burned the tip of his penis. It was, it was bad. It was pretty bad. Rushed me to the hospital. You know, gave me a bunch of drugs that still didn't take the burn away. Sienna Miller in G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra during a special effects explosion misfire while filming, Sienna's chest caught fire, igniting the area between her breasts. Luckily for her, her breasts were unharmed and the cleavage also made a full recovery. Get out! My nice shoes. Hilary Swank in P.S. I Love You. While filming a scene where her co-star Jared Butler does a strip tease, his suspenders became ensnared and one of the buckles snapped back and slapped Hilary straight in the face. Consequence of this mishap was several stitches and a perfect outline of where the suspender clip hit her right on the forehead. What happened to your head? Dimple. Tom Cruise and Jack Reacher. Tom shot a scene where he had to kick an actor in the groin over and over again. In theory, this sounds like more grief for the man on the receiving end, but after so many kicks, it was Tom's foot that began to swell up. The actor had to constantly loosen his shoelaces between takes in order to make it through the scene. I need to see something. How about the inside of an ambulance? Sir Anthony Hopkins in The Edge As a result of neck problems, Hopkins was taking painkillers while filming in Alberta, Canada. During one of the scenes, Anthony fell into the freezing cold river. Not realising how cold the water was due to his medication, he started to show all the symptoms of hypothermia, which led him to being rushed to hospital. I'm not gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna kill the bear. Jim Caviezel in The Passion of the Christ. Actor Jim, who played the Son of God, sustained multiple injuries during the final scene, including actual gashes from the whipping, hyperthermia, and a shoulder separation due to lugging around that giant cross, which I might add they kept in the movie. However, if you think that sounds bad, right before filming the Sermon of the Mount scene, Jim was struck by lightning and both sides of his head caught fire. Ben Stiller in Along Came Polly. Whilst filming a scene with the ferret, Ben Stiller was bitten on the chin, requiring a rabies shot. According to Stiller, the ferret literally attached himself to my chin and then he didn't let go. He was holding on to my chin. <coughs> Malcolm McDowell in A Clockwork Orange While filming the iconic brainwashing scene for this classic Stanley Kubrick flick, Malcolm not only had his cornea badly scratched in the process, but also suffered from temporary blindness as a result of having his eyes propped open for so long. In fact, the doctor applying the drops in the film was a real doctor, who had to administer the drops every 15 seconds to avoid permanent blindness. Hey, if you guys are new here to my channel, then make sure you hit the sub button and get consistent updates. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, and if you have any suggestions or questions, please post them down in the comments section below.